and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just. Listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who was called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menaean, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and so, while they were keeping worship, while they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands and sent them off. So they sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in, arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, o God let, let all the nations, nations praise, praise you. you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us so that we may be known upon your earth among all nations, your salvation. O oh God, God, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the people's inequity. The nations on earth you guide. O oh God, God, let, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him, the word that I spoke it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. Now, I don't know about you, but I've known families that all the members of the family seem to resemble each other. Did you ever meet a family like that? When I was in grade school... The teachers, when we went, because I had a classmate who was a Duffy, and when we went into the next class, the next grade, the teacher would always say to her, you must be a Duffy, because they all resembled each other. They all had black hair and blue eyes, and they were all very handsome, but they all resembled each other. Everybody knew who the Duffys were, and other families as well. But beyond any kind of physical resemblance... Today we have the substance of evidence, and that is that Jesus says, whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. So the Father who we cannot see, we see in the very person of Jesus. Scholars tell us that for John, this is the very last public teaching of Jesus. All the teaching from here on will be privately to the apostles, to some other disciples, but this is the most public teaching prior to his death. Oftentimes, before people die, we hear family members, who might resemble them or not, say, This was the last thing mom said to me. Or this was the last thing dad said to me. This powerful word of John harkens back to the very beginning of his gospel, where we fundamentally learn that deep theology that the father is one with the son, that Jesus existed before time and eternity, and that he's come to bring light to the world. It makes me wonder whether we can say, after we receive the Eucharist at daily Mass, whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. Whoever sees me, sees the one I received this morning. And it makes me wonder whether, for each of us, other people will recognize the resemblance 
not perhaps substance, and not perhaps physical features, but the resemblance of the light and love and mercy and forgiveness who came into the world. Whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, God, forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless ye God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we do accept it all in your name, and your sacrifice and your selfless ways, and pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me away from your iniquity. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know the truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus, Sabaoth, Quei sunt celi et terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine, You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that, from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your need. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, 
and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to this, his second coming, we offer you, in thanksgiving, this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, me, your unworthy servant the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
power and the glory of the universe, and now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. An justei, qui tolis peccata monti, miserere nobis. An justei, qui tolis peccata monti, miserere nobis. An justei, qui tolis Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be safe to return, Lord. Amen. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit that will last. Alleluia. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.